Sagittarius, hi, it's Lisa here from What's Her Name Tarot. I'm here to do your monthly reading for July 2023. These are general readings only, so just take with you what resonates. Check your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, any number synchronicities that may occur, and cross watches are welcome. I just got home from work, Sagittarius. Getting a bit dark, but try and get these out so they're uploaded by the end of the week. But July 2023. Clear messages from Spirit, please, for Sagittarius. Okay, so overall, Six of Swords, it is reversed. I feel like you're wanting to put some plans into place to get things moving forward, but something keeps cropping up that seems to bring these plans to a crashing halt, I'm going to say, um, and it just feels a bit stagnant at the moment. We will um, clarify everything shortly. Incoming energies, the star reversed. This may be a case of, um, you know, sometimes they say dream extravagantly, but there may be stages to this. I feel like this is where your thought process is that some sort of dream that you do have, these goals, the wishes, the hopes, etc., is out of reach at the moment. It is crossed with the Four of Wands reversed. It may be involving stability, commitment of some sort around home and family life. You know, there may be a marriage proposal you're wanting, you may be wanting to get together with someone, you may be wanting to do a particular job here, and it's all this pipeline dream at the moment. And it's not to say that it's not achievable, but I feel like you just start to get the ball rolling and something comes up that brings it to a halt. And it's almost like taking a step back, let's try this again. Wow. Strength area, it is the nine of wands and that is reversed. And that's exactly what I'm meaning is these obstacles you've got to overcome, these loopholes you've got to jump through, the hoops, um, everything. You start to get through all these and then suddenly it's like a big roadblock wall in front of you and it's taking you back and now you, there's more obstacles to overcome again. Interesting. Queen of Swords upright, focus area, sorry, King of Swords that is. This is about taking action here, using your head over your heart, thinking things through very logically, level-headedly, if that's a word I always say, but this is about the whole thought process and putting those plans into action. And no matter what you come up against, this is about finding those ways around things. I always say legally and morally, but this is about getting the job done. Recent past judgment, um, keeping an open mind, but I also feel like don't judge others, don't let others judge you either though. And this may be a case in the past where you've been judged. Um, you know, you may be, like as an example you're wanting to go for this next level job but you know somebody down here said oh no because they did this um you know and it might be 20 years ago that you did something there but this is some sort of judgmental energy and i feel like it is being towards you and that is that's part of what is holding this process up wow incoming energies the world it is reversed it just may be and it's hard to say, um, or it's hard to hear, that this may be not your moment yet. Um, that world, once it's upright, divine timing, there may be some other t life lessons, even tough life lessons, that you are going through in this whole process, but for a reason. And this just makes you stronger, it makes you stick to your guns and more determined here, and it may be that that's what these knockbacks are. I feel like there's been a few knockbacks, but they have been for a reason. Wow, what you need to know, love that it's upright with this reading, death. 
you are able to start to close this past off and start to focus on what lies ahead. This may be a whole different path that you are actually starting to um, set out on and may have connection to a Scorpio, but this is about not letting those knockbacks actually knock you down. This is sticking to your guns, standing your ground, that determination, and yes, you're going to do this. How others see you, King of Wands, upright. They see you as knowing what you want, who you want, and where you want to be. But again, it's the process you're going through to make these achievable to you. And um, it may be going into something too quickly, not thinking the whole plan through, but ultimately it's coming back to whatever these obstacles are you're having to keep overcome time and time and time again. That may be just saying, well, that's not working that way. Let's try it this way. Reversed, even no power couple, Queen of Wands, um, hopes and fears. Again, confidence, determination to go after your dreams, to go after your goals, but that may be starting to fall to the wayside, as I said, because you're just banging your head against a brick wall with all these obstacles um, that keep knocking you back. But in saying that, this again is coming back to that determination, digging your heels in, and if it doesn't work one way, there are other ways to look at to try. And again, legally and morally, I always say. And your final outcome, Ten of Cups reversed. The happiness um, there, at the moment, it doesn't feel like that is there. And this is about getting that upright to get some emotional support maybe coming in. Um, with that being reversed, usually upright, as I'm saying, there's emotional support around you, sometimes not so obviously so. But with these knockbacks, it may be that you're still feeling um, that... You know, I don't want to say the world's against you, but it's just these knockbacks time and time and time again. They do start to get on top of you. And this is about, again, not letting it get on top of you and to be able to find those other ways. Well, ultimately, here, Sagittarius. We'll clarify everything here, starting with the Six of Swords reversed overall for the month. Eight of Wands, Queen of Swords, Eight of Swords. There to start with is A, the balance in place with the two eights either side. The Queen of Swords, very direct, very upfront, very brutally honest. You know, if you're getting knockbacks time and time again, it may be saying, what the hell am I doing wrong? Tell me what I'm doing wrong so I can change that and alter it and get things to work into place. It is finding those detours. It is finding those other ways around things with some clear, honest, open communication. But it may be that it's quite brutal and upfront communication that's needed here. Everyone on the same page. Wow. Okay. Present energies. The star reverse. Let's get this up right. Eight of Cups, Ace of Wands, the Empress. There is some sort of emotional attachment here that um, you're ready to walk away from. And it may be that you've just been waiting for an apology. And I always say it may never arrive. And eventually it's clicking into place here that, okay, if they don't think they've done something wrong, they're not going to apologize. And I'm not going to get that apology. And this is now being able to start to refocus here following your heart, following your gut instinct, and I feel like that is actually telling you, what are you waiting for? If you're waiting for this apology, you may be waiting forever. Oof, that's pretty to the point there, Sagittarius. Cross with this Four of Wands, reversed. The Magus, Eight of Pentacles, King of Wands. Back to refocusing here, putting the hard work in, manifesting a favourable outcome and again sticking to your guns and knowing what you want, who you want, where you want to be and taking action here to be able to focus on those dreams and those goals and it just may be that they have shifted a little bit after finally starting to get some sort of journey underway here. Strength area, Nine of Wands reverse. Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, the Deceiver. Wow. 
and there it is what's holding you back this may be negative thinking it may be some sort of toxic unhealthy energy that you feel stuck and bound to it may be an addiction of some sort whether it's within or whether it's somebody close to you but some sort of negative energy even whatever it is whoever it is wherever it is that seems to keep giving you these knockbacks that niggling in a devil on your shoulder kind of energy this is your moment now for a brand new start a fresh new beginning here but making a successful new beginning of this and not letting those doubts and that negative energy hold you back any longer because again you're focused you're focused you know what you want and where you want to be heading and this is about starting this journey but starting it really solidly focus area is the king of swords judgment queen of wands four of pentacles whatever it is whoever it is that you feel like you're not able to release this energy yet this is about still keeping an open mind not letting that hold you back here um, that determination is in place you've got power couple with king and queen of wands here you now have power couple here king and queen of wands as well so this is all about your focus on your goals and where you are heading and not letting some sort of energy here hold you back remaining and balanced and intact throughout this journey and keeping an open mind of how to go about chasing these dreams past energies judgments this flew out here five of pentacles the tower ace of cups glad it came out in that order where you have felt left out in the cold maybe ghosted blocked no explanation at all it may be the apology that you have been waiting for here we said it's never going to arrive this is your tower moment letting the dust settle and then focusing on what works well for you and that may get this whole brand new chapter off to a fresh start there is a chapter when it comes to love so it may be a pregnancy a birth a marriage proposal moving in together even getting together initially with someone back here but it may also be a job you love a home you love a new beginning once your tower moment has i'm going to say able to get rid of all this energy that's holding you back something flipped over here so we're taking that four of wands so you got the world reversed incoming clarified with the four of wands that flipped over the hierophant nine of pentacles stability commitment around home and family life there may be a bit of peer pressure being put on you which is part of this whole knockback of where you're ready to get things moving and it sets back again may have connection to a taurus you're able to see the success that is coming your way and that stability and that commitment and that happiness there but again this peer pressure is trying its best to hold you back and i feel like this is where you let your voice be heard we talked about the brutal upfront communication back here um, this may be where this is coming into place following your beliefs not what somebody else is wanting you to do what you need to know death two of cups four of cups two of swords and again the balance it is all coming into place here with the clarifications there is love here existing relationship or somebody brand new but a decision that is need does need to be made around what direction you are taking this is again shifting that focus around not being so stubbornly stuck on this one cup that this is the decision where you make where you keep banging your head against a brick wall time and time again this is making sure that you are aware there are other options and other paths here at least worth looking at how others see you king of wands sagittarius the flying out for you six of swords king of swords and justice sweet justice I always say may have connection to a libra but i feel like this is now your time that you are able to take some action here some very logical thinking being put into place to take action to move in a forward direction and that logical thinking is coming around again what works for me what doesn't work for me what works here what doesn't work here and being able to follow through and claim that sweet justice good karma favorable outcome that comes with some very keeping a clear head level-headed 
um, thinking here. Wow, so hopes and fears, Queen of Wands reverse, Sagittarius. Look at it, the universe, there it is upright. Three of Pentacles, five of Wands. The drama, the conflict, the disagreements that you have had to go through, maybe around some sort of partnership, collaboration, for a reason. That universe is now upright. Remember, was it here? Yes, incoming energy is reversed. Here it is upright. You know now what those tough life lessons were, but you also know why they were sent your way. And your final outcome. Ten of Cups reverse, get this upright, Seven of Wands, there you go, Ace of Swords, King of Pentacles, brilliant. Always say, clearing the crap out, <laughs> having a fresh new start here of some sort, you're not giving up, you're not quitting, it may be not quitting on yourself, it may not be quitting on someone close to you or a situation here, but by clearing all the crap out that you're going through time and time again, this is that moment for this new, open, honest, clear beginning ultimate success suddenly on your doorstep it'll almost feel like overnight success zero to three sixty and five seconds i usually say but there's just a feel a bit to clear out first wow so sagittarius let's finish with what the universe says seven of swords upright four of swords reversed the sun reversed and this is still these niggling doubts, the deceptive energy that you feel like has been holding you back here. It's all the hard work. It's caused a bit of burnout stage here and it's just taking a step back, looking after number one in order to get your happiness. It is a case of what needs to be left behind and what needs to be taken with me on this journey. But making sure this journey does continue forward and not taking those steps back. Wow, so Sagittarius, that is what I have for the week. Do hope it helped. Frog in my throat, something may need to be said. We talked about the communication overall, but do hope it helped. I'll see you all next for the weeklies. See ya. Bye.